Hey everybody, uh, JT here for Dancing Bear Muay Thai, and um, I wanted to talk about holidays, um, eating in the holidays, stuff like that. Um, when you're getting ready for next year, right? A lot of the time, people think like, oh, next week, the, the week next. Think about the next year, where you want to position yourself. Oh, you know, I always hear the phrase, work smarter, not harder. And so many people pack on pounds and eat and um, and then they're already put themselves in a hole for 2020. And that's why, you know, the, the big fitness industry is like the New Year's resolutions, right? You'll see all these deals for gyms, um, all this stuff. And, they, you know, I'm sure they want you there, but they also want your money. One thing I feel you can do is... Just control what you're eating. You know, eat it, but control it. You know, don't have fourths, fifths, whatever. You know, it's, you know, and also one thing, don't be around your toxic family members. I know it's kind of hard. Um, we all have people we don't want to be around, and it's hard when it's family. But they're not obligated to be around anyone, right? If they don't help you, then why should you be around them, right? Um, I mean, you don't have to engage with them. You don't have to do anything like that. So there are these things that not a lot of people take into account. They think because you're family, you have to be together, right? But what does that do? It causes un undue stress, frustration, all these different things. The number one thing you should be doing, especially getting ready for 2020, is taking care of yourself. Um, it, to me, it's one of the most important things you can do is um, take care of yourself and, and set yourself up for success. So many people put all these mental barriers in front of themselves without even knowing it. Um, uh, you know, they'll put food, family, friends, you know, transportation, all these things, all these stresses they'll put on themselves when if people really care about you, they'll understand where you're coming from. You know, they'll understand, hey, this is really hard. You know, controlling myself around food isn't nearly impossible. You know, I don't really like being in front of that person. I, There are these things that, but we're felt through guilt that we have to, to do it you know that we you know and you don't have you don't you don't have to um eventually people will understand your stance on it will understand where you're coming from you know how you're how you feel about it and go oh okay that's that, that's them growth is hard for people and um they don't want they want to you want they want you to fit inside the box well you've always come to christmas dinner sorry you can't this year or i can only stay for 20 minutes 30 minutes right Set yourself up for success. I, there's so many of these videos out there with so many people that have had way more success and done way more things and have way more experiences. I know what it's like, you know, all I'm only coming from is that I've had a family. You know, we all have families, even if it's one or two people. You still have family. Um, you have friends. You have these things. And then also food, right? Set yourself up for success ration your food especially if you if you want to change that's the thing is change is hard right it took you years it, you're at whatever weight you are right now and it took years to think it may not even take twice that long uh, to take off is i mean is i think you know reasonable because there's no way to get around it at all um, so I would say watch your food intake and start and just even if you can just walk inside, you know, find a find a gym now, right? And 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 set yourself up, find a workout partner that's reliable, you know, or even not reliable and just be like no matter what I'm still going to work out, right? Um at least two or three times a week, right? And watch what you eat. In the holidays, you know, the food's great. It's amazing, but you don't need it. You may want it, but you don't need it. Um, what you need to do is be healthy, happy, and and uh, satisfied. And that's going to be with whatever. I was just talking with um, one of the one of the guys here, and he was talking about you know how everyone's like, I'm going to reward myself with some some food for this weight loss, or I'm going to I'm going to eat some dessert with you know 3,000 calories in it for losing five pounds and we both kind of well you know we were talking about it. We we're like right so many people do that when the reward is the weight loss and that you could have something small
you know, if you don't have a spot, there are plenty of people there. Ask anyone who was big. Ask anyone who was fat, trigger word, sorry. Um, anyone, because I guarantee you they've all been called it. Um, ask them, if you've seen someone who's lost weight or changed their life or doing CrossFit or doing it, ask them what they did, how they did it. You may not go that path, but it's someone you can ask, right? There's someone you can always talk to. Um, that's the best part about social media. I'm only doing this because I got a question asked. I mean, I'd rather keep a lot of stuff to myself because it's my, you know, in a selfish way, it's my success, you know, the, the way I've done it. I, but I want people to get better. I want people to feel happier and healthier and see better Facebook feeds out there instead of, you know, all this and that and I'm depressed and, you know, I'm in a funk or I'm this or I'm that. You know, those are those are going to happen, but let's... You know, let's let's get better. Let's all try to try to make it make it make it easier for all of us. You know, we, there's so much there's a wealth of information out there on how to lose weight, um, how to feel better. You know, everyone thinks, oh, if I lose weight, I'll feel better. But that may not be the case, right? Um, you might feel happier at uh, a little bit lighter weight than you are, but maybe it's something internal. Maybe you need to find something. Maybe you need to find a hobby. You know, tons of different things there's you know there's the 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 mental the physical and the spiritual in my mind that those are the three things you really need to work on and spiritual everyone goes oh god blah 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 whatnot spiritual means that it's nothing of the physical um or of the mind it's something else i know that sounds kind of weird but find it through something some people find it through find spirituality through fishing who whatever your thing is find it find it do it and just get better um, I appreciate everyone um, that messaged and shared my other video and whatnot. Like, I just, I just want all my friends because I'm not sharing it to everyone. I'm just sharing it to my friends. I just want everyone to get better and feel better. Um, let me know if you need anything. Uh, John Thane, Dancing Bear Muay Thai. You can get a hold of me um, through Facebook Messenger, John Thane. So I appreciate it. Thanks, guys.